The Japanese women's movement in the 1900s is a very interesting topic to talk about. Japanese women's oral history has been the most neglected area in the country's history. There are many articles to prove that Japanese women have been participating in the long history of social activism. In the first article written by Reiko Harasuka, prize winner for Japanese women's history, Hiroko Tamida, the article talked about women being ashamed of who they were. Women have had a long history of apologizing for the defects and faults. Household labor was a job many Japanese women did. In Peter Custer's article, data show that the percentage of female workers declined to 50% in 1986. The Japanese government ever since the 1900s has promoted the employment of middle-aged women as a cheap workforce. The above picture is of a successful Japanese woman called Takado. She was a prominent Japanese politician. In Kanzuko Wanabe's article, he describes that there are two types of women, the household wife and the successful career woman. In Japan, rights had many meanings. In this article by Barbara Melanie, she talks about how Japanese women would often have meetings and discuss what actions were to be taken to get those equal rights. Japanese women are bringing out of the custom of the stereotype image of calm, do docile women who are happy to serve their men. The above picture is, is the Red Cross in Japan where women are making supplies for soldiers. All of what women did in Japan was be a mother figure to men. In November 1924, Kabushiro Okuma, who was a Japanese minister and women's rights leader, called a meeting of women interested in working for women's rights. This meeting spawned the League for Realization of Women's Suffrage. The League would concentrate on obtaining political rights for women. Japanese women held their own mother's congress. As Hilary Maxson wrote in this next article, there was a diverse group of women who attended this con convention. They discussed issues concerning mothers, war, and children. The Mother's Congress of Japan continues to meet annually and at times more than once a year. The Mother's Congress of Japan can be interpreted as a feminist movement because it was a mother-centered movement that combined equal rights and feminist care. Japanese women had fought for suffrage for over 30 years. The right to attend public gathering was not granted till 1919. Women voters' interest is usually higher in local elections than in national elections. This newly granted political rights are just, are just beginning to be counted as a power in the nation. Women were not always a minority. Christian women were a majority in the church. Christianity in Japan has always been dominated by European elite white males. In Japan, rights had many meanings. In the Meiji area, era, discussions of women's rights were closely related to the discussion of women's education, particularly beyond the elementary level. Also in Peter's article, he talked about how a lot of Japanese women were working from ho home and were essentially a mother figure, a mother to their male partners and their daughters. 58% of married women do not work outside the home in Japan. The average wages are more than 50% less than men. Japanese women have been participating in a long history of social activism. Japan is an affluent and highly industrialized democratic nation. The pictures above shows a woman marching from the women's suffrage movement. Ranjan Shiel, a professor in history, wrote in her article that women often did this to express how much they wanted equal opportunity. One of the most effective ways in which women were active in the suffrage movement was through literary outlets. During the interwar period, the number of educated women in Japan was at its highest. These women, many of whom were graduates of Japan's finest institution of higher learning, began using their education as a weapon in the fight against oppression. The Red Wave Society was the first socialist women's association. Yamakawa and others organized the association in April 1921. The Red Wave's manifesto condemned capitalism, arguing that it turned women into slaves and prostitutes. Rural families were forced to contract their daughters to factories due to financial difficulties. These girls were required to live in dormitories unable to leave 
except to go to work. They work 12-hour shifts in poor condition. Second wave feminism in the United States had an impact in many other countries and inspired increased activism in Japan too. Mitsu was the most visible individual figure in Japan's radical move feminist movement during the late 1960s and early 1700s. She wrote a number of pamphlets on feminist topics, the most well known being Liberation from Toilets. In the, 18, in the 1980s, feminism has become a somewhat legitimate term among Japanese intellectuals. Major scholarly journals have begun to include articles of feminism. A number of ma male intellectuals who did not pay attention to women's issue now show up their regard for feminism as a sign of their progressivism. This trend seems to parallel the spread of women's studies programs throughout Japanese colleges. Now in Japan, women have more gender, gender equal policies and governmental responsibilities. Japan has come a long way in regards to women's rights from where they started in the beginning of the 1900s. From the late 1960s to early 1970s, universities became centers of various social movements. Japanese women now are still very active in women's rights movement, but they feel more heard now than they did before. While researching the various Japanese women's movements in the 1900s, I can conclude that Japanese women are strong and very vocal about what they want to change, and I believe that this makes this topic something everyone should know more about.